Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Atari Game Station Pro console, so we'll get straight into it. We'll show you the packaging, guys, then we'll pull everything out and get a closer look. Do let us know in the comments what you think. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. So as you can see, logos on the side, boring stuff on the base there. On the front, you can see the system and the uh, controllers that are included, as well as a uh, little bit of information about uh, the uh, contents. Then on the back goes into more detail. Um, and a short list there of uh, the games included. There are 200 games included here, so a nice uh, bunch of games. I do have them listed here, so we'll go through them once we um, have all the contents out of the, uh, the box, guys. They will also pop up, so you can uh, take a read uh, as well. But um, there's uh, gonna be quite a few to get through, so I'll get through them as quickly as possible. That way you, uh, you know what you're getting, what's included. Um, when you're uh, picking this one up, okay. It opens up like so, and then you can get your uh, console and controllers there. Nicely packaged in the um, plastic package. Okay, you've got your uh, little Atari My Arcade box here. We'll open it up. So we've got a couple of contents in there. Okay. I just thought it was a bit of a packer, but it's not. Okay, so we've got our, just some advertising here. The uh, My Arcade sort of brand, all the different sort of Atari stuff that you can get, which is pretty cool. I've done uh, quite a few of these uh, Atari systems as well on the channel, guys, so check them all out. They are all slightly different. Uh, we've got the Certificate of Authenticity as well. There's no number here. Um, so there, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got our little booklet. So user guide, okay. So it's quite a few pages there, probably a couple of different um, languages there. So that's why it's so large. And I'm just going to, so we've got another protection there. Got our system, which we'll take a look at. Got our cable. Uh, got a cable controller. Controller and our tray, we'll just see what it's underneath. So nothing underneath, just um, some more padding and protection. Okay, so nothing else included in the box. Guys, we'll just uh, pack it up and put it out of the way. Now we've got our power cable here, so USB um, cable, so you will need a uh, a plug, so you got USB-C to uh, A there. Okay, so USB-C will go into the back of this, and you need a wall plug to uh, go into the wall, uh, or anything, something with a USB socket to provide power. Got our HDMI cable there as well, to connect you to the latest television sets. And now we've got our um, system here. So my arcade Atari system. Okay, so you got power, and your home button on top. Uh, on the front there, you've got um, two USB-C ports, which is quite handy. And then on the side, you've got your micro SD card there. You've also got on the back, HDMI out and input there for power. Uh, on the base, nothing, just a couple of rubbers to stop it from uh, moving around. So it's got um, lots of grip there. Then we'll take a look at our controllers. So um, just a little warning there about the, uh, the battery. But uh, here's your um, My Arcade Atari controller, guys. So we'll just take a quick look at this. You've got, um, you can connect it USB-C in. Um, so if you don't want to use the batteries, you can probably get a USB-C cable, go from this to the controller. You want to probably get a lengthy one so you can sit, sit a bit back from the, uh, the actual um, TV. So. You can pull this off, but you need a screwdriver there to take a look at what's going on. It just says use high quality alkaline batteries for longer play time. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'll uh, undo that, see if there's a cable included here, because uh, it would be handy, otherwise you gotta uh, source your own. So we'll take a look at that in the outro, guys. See how many batteries it is going to take as well. If you do wanna pair it up with some batteries and connect it via, uh, looks like a little sink there. So there must be a sink button here somewhere. There's a reset button. Um, maybe when you're in the home menu, you can um, you can sync it somehow. Okay, 
Um, so anyway, let's take a look. So you've got your, um, your A button, your B button, your C button, a little trigger. You've got your uh, little knob there, um, and you've got uh, your uh, menu button there. Shows you if you're synced. Uh, like we said earlier, USB-C and your uh, on and off button there. Okay, then you've got your home start and select as well across that side and obviously your uh, directional um, stick there. Okay, let's take another look. This is identical guys in every way. So which, whichever one you use. So that does um, stop guys. So it goes left or right one way and then it stops and you gotta go get back the other way, okay. Um, so identical to the uh, first one. Doesn't feel like there's any um, batteries in there because it is quite light, but uh, we'll just check if there's still that cable in there. All right, guys, let's uh, run through the games list. So um, we'll start with the Atari 2600. You see this pop up as well. Uh, so you've got 82 titles for the uh, Atari 2600. So these are uh, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, Adventure, Adventure 2, Air Sea Battle, Aqua Venture, Asteroids, Atari Video Cube, uh, Basic Math, Basketball, bowling, boxing, uh, breakout, canyon bomber, centipede, championship soccer, circus, uh, Atari, combat, combat two, crystal castles, dark chambers, demons, uh, yeah, demons to diamonds, desert falcon, dodgem, double dunk, drag race, fast eddy, uh, fatal run, flag capture, football, frog pond, golf, gravitar, hangman, haunted house, home run, human cannonball, indie 500, maze craze, millipede. Miniature Golf, uh, Missile Command, Moto, Rodeo, uh, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Outlaw, Pong, uh, Quad Run, Radar Lock, and then we've got Real Sports, uh, quite a few of these, so we'll just go through them all. Baseball, Basketball, Boxing, Football, Soccer, Tennis, uh, Volleyball, we've got uh, Road Runner, Sabotar, Save Mary, Secret Quest, Skydiver, Slot Racers, Solaris, Space Raid, Space War, Sprint Master, um, Steeplechase, Street Racer, Stunt Cycle, Submarine Commander, Super Baseball, Super Breakout, Super Football, Surround, Sword Quest, uh, three of these. So you've got Earth World, Fire World, Water World, Tempest is up next. Uh, we've got Video Checkers, Video Pinball, Warlords, Wizards, and Yars Revenge. Okay, that um, is all your uh, 82 Atari titles there. So some very good ones there. Now we'll take a look at the 5200. Uh, titles guys, so we've only got seven of these. Uh, we've got Centipede, Frisky Tom, uh, Meeb Zorg, uh, we've got Millipede, Missile Command, Real Sports, uh, Baseball and Basketball there. Then we've got the Atari 7800, we've got 10 titles. <coughs> Pardon me, we've got Alien Brigade, Asteroids, Basket Brawl, Centipede, Dark Chambers, Desert Falcon, Food Fight, uh, Motor Psycho, Real Sports Baseball, uh, Scrappy Dog Yard as well. Sorry, Scrappy Yard Dog. Okay, that's all of those. We've got the uh, Atari arcade games now, so 39 of these. So we'll just run through these. We've got uh, Alpha One, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Atari Baseball, Atari Football, Atari Soccer, Avalanche, Basketball, Canyon Bomber, Centipede, Cloud Nine, Crystal Castles. We've got Dominoes, Drag Race, Fire Truck, Food Fight. We've got Gravitar, iRobot, Liberator, Lunar Battle, Lunar Lander, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, Monte Carlo, Night Driver. We've also got Pool Shark, Quantum, Red Baron, Runway, uh, Sky Diver, uh, Sky Raider, Space Duel, Super Breakout, Super Bug, Tempest, Tournament Table, Ultra Tank, and Warlords. Okay, so the last one to go through, guys. So these are the bonus games. So a range of 8 bit and 16 bit titles here. Okay, so let's just start. There are 63 of these to um, to mention. So we've got eight eyes. You'll see on the list um, that's popping up as well. So which ones are 8-bit and which ones are 16-bit as well. Okay, so we've got the uh, Bad Street Brawler, Beast Ball, Brave Battle Saga, Burglar X, Cannon, Legend of the New Gods, Cheese Chase, a Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. So these are quite a lot uh, longer, these titles. We've got Diver Boy, Eliminator Boat Duel, Escape from Atlantis, Exploding Fist, Fancy World, Free Fall, Galaxy Gunners, Goroki, uh, Jim Power, The Lost Dimension in 3D, Landmaster, Lawn Mower, Little uh, Lancelot, Lucky Boom, Maniac Square, Mega 3D Noah's Ark, Mermaids of Atlantis, Metal Mech, 
uh, Mighty Warriors, Motor City Patrol, Nightshade Part 1, The Claws of uh, Satek, Noah's Ark, Ping Pong Masters 93, POW 2, uh, we've got Power Crunch, uh, Power Punch 2, sorry, Pyramids of Ra, Pyramids of Ra, so there's version 1 and 2 there, uh, Radical Rex, Snakey, Snowboard Championship, we've got Stanley Search for Dr. Livingston, Okay, so next, um, we've got 39 is uh, Steel Force, Street Racer, Sumo Slam, Super Hunchback, Switchblade, Sword of Sodan. We've got Target Renegade, The Fidgets, The Gaunt, uh, sorry, The Gadget Twins, The Humans, The Humans as well. So you've got 8 bit and 16 bit there. Again, we've got the same for The Immortal and The Immortal. We've got The Mutant Virus, Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt 2. We've got Tin Head, Top Racer 2, Treasure Master. Viking Child, Water Margin, World Rally, World uh, Trophy Soccer, Zany Golf, and Zooming Secretary. So if you are still sticking around, guys, as you can see, quite a few games um, and some good ones there that uh, you're going to be able to uh, enjoy playing uh, one player and two player. All right, guys, well, um, that's everything included in today's box. Like I did say earlier, though, do let us know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video. Welcome back guys, so took a look. So they take four, uh, four AA batteries, okay, each controller. So just be aware of that. You need eight if you want to uh, play two player. Otherwise you can get your USB-C to C uh, cables and connect them to the uh, front of the console into the um, your uh, joystick and uh, start gaming that way. So either way, you have to get yourself a cable or some batteries to uh, start gaming, unfortunately. So uh, there you are, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we'll do the next giveaway. So do subscribe if you're running for that. And we'll catch you next time.